Right, I hope you can actually see this. I'm going to show you now how to use this fibre. Because like I said, I've done started it and I want to be able to glue that onto my egg when I've painted the egg so that it share it, you know the colour shines through. Um, so I'm taking just two pieces of card. Uh, I prefer to do it with card to be honest. I'm just making sure you can actually see what I'm doing. And then what you do is you take, I've got the iron on, I've got a little travelling iron that I use, and you take the fibre, and like I said, this is called uh, gold pearl. And you spread the fibre where you want it to be. And you can do this as thinly or as thickly as you like. Try not to get any clumps in it, to be honest. So you don't need a lot of it. Just spread it. It's very quick and very easy to do. Well, keeping it inside. Put a little bit there. Like I say, you can do this as much, you know, as uh, much as you think you need, and then don't waste it because you can make angel wings with the rest of it. And on a hot iron, you just iron over the card, like so, and then you peel one off, and that leaves you with this that's already in a sheet and it's as quick as that and now that is usable it's ready to use so I'm going to do myself two or three uh, sheets of that I've got two now so I'm going to do another sheet because I want to make sure I have enough to cover my egg now what I can do I can share the process of painting the egg with you for now but I can't show you cutting it and um, which I will do after I've painted it and there's a reason for that, because I don't want it to cock it up and it'll protect it and help it to stay a little bit firmer. So, like I say, we're just going to do oddments here. Put that to one side. Take fragments out. Like that. I mean, I can put more than one layer of this on the egg, which will protect it. Um, once it's painted, I can come back and do this, and then I can show you how I'm going to cut into the egg. Where, but while it's uh, got this on and protected with the glue, it should be, you know, easier or less likely that it'll break, hopefully. There we go. There's a little bit more on that one, I think. Pop this on. And we just iron that together. It's very, very quick. Not fussed about these edges whatsoever. Yeah. And it just pulled off in a sheet. Now, um, I will give you the address of where to get this from the lady. Um, let me just go over that end bit again. You can do it more than once. See, it's actually taking all the edges off. Uh, sealed all the edges, should I say. Like that. So all those are ready now for use. And I would say, yes, there's plenty there to do the egg. So we're going to put that to one side. I'm just going to pop all this back because I don't waste any of it. It's uh, not a bad price, but uh, I just don't want to waste it. Put my card to one side. And I've chosen some lovely colours. So I'm just going to move my iron away from my wire, otherwise I'll be burning everything. And 
get rid of this bit of rubbish get my chair I need a paint pot and my water which I've got here uh, and I think I'm going to use a fairly long bristle brush uh, there's no you know anything on there to say which one it is so I've got the egg I can get the egg Sorry, I had it wrapped underneath because I frightened to death of breaking it. I, I paid about £18 for mine. Uh, $18, sorry. About $18. So, um, and it took a while to come. So here we are. Now, I'm only going to be painting this section and this section. And I'm using... These, these are acrylic paints, uh, metallic, dark velvet, or the, um, what's this one, pink blush. I might just do the pink blush, I'm not sure, but I have those as well. So I think I'll just do it the pink blush. Hopefully I've got enough to uh, do the whole he whole heck whole egg I actually wanted to do the base in one colour and I might do that and then just put that uh, trimming over it so pull my chair over oh let me unplug my iron because I forgot to do that I have um, hurt my back yesterday uh, badly <laughs> right I'm just going to do the top um, and I need something maybe that will do to yes that's fine i just don't want it touching while it dries so i'm going to do the top first am i no i'm going to do the bottom first yeah so i know this egg uh, this is out of line with that i know that but that, i'm not fussed about that whatsoever so we'll just do the bottom section first i think do i need that color or that color See, I've got these colours and I'm not sure which one. This is the pink. I think that's a little bit dark. I think I'm going to go with that one. So these, uh, this is pomegranate. I may change my mind and it may need several coats. But right now, it's getting one. <laughs> and we'll see how we get on. Now, I always paint from the lid. Oh, it's fairly thick, this one. Well, let's hope it works. So first of all, I'm going to go down to the line. See, these are a see-through paint. Like that. And it probably will do uh, need several coats. Because you don't want to see any brush strokes in it whatsoever. And there's loads. <laughs> so, I know this is probably unorthodox for people that make eggs. But I'm fee. I do my own thing. Now with these, they are a little bit water-based. So you can actually water them down a little bit to make them go a bit further um, and as I'm going to be putting several coats on I'm not that fussed about watering it down that's just to smooth the edges you see just to smooth the edges of the paint which will eventually that'll do I know what you're saying oh my god V yep <laughs> you just have to go for it I'm afraid You really do. If you want to do something, stop umming and ahhing. Get on with it. 
I'm just adding a touch of water to the tip of the brush which will help see it doesn't matter if it goes over because you're going to completely change that and it will be having a border on of uh, trims so it doesn't matter if I slightly go over Just, I don't want to, you know, um, I don't want to get my hands on it basically, where it's painted. Like I say, I do have a steady-ish hand, so it helps. This is going to be the slightly awkward bit to get this done. There we go. Yeah, it'll darken, but I want my egg two tone, and it's going to take several coats to cover. Now, I don't know whether this is going to work. I have no idea. But let me just sit that there because I'm going to help it along by drying it. <coughs> you say, oh yes, Fee, of course you are, my dear. <laughs> oh, I've got a blooming glue and it'll work. Oh, I'll be back <laughs> Yes, yesterday I was uh, sorting some boxes out and I dropped something, bent down, because uh, it was some beads. I bent down and it um, rolled and I went to twist instead of moving the chair. I twisted to go and actually pick it up and was a big mistake because I uh, then twisted my back. I've just spotted something that I uh, hadn't seen before so I'm just gonna because it's like a paste this particular one that I've got I'm just gonna straighten that was it there um, let me just do that I'm going to dry it off as I do it I think to one side and we're just going to go over that again till it's dark enough for what I need now I don't know if it will work when we put the fiber on so I've never done that bit that's new to me now this coat I'm not watering down I uh, actually want it to 
go on pretty thick. So if this is an unconventional way to uh, do an egg, because you know I don't, I know there's a lady, she's called the Egg Lady, and um, I've watched several of her videos, and they just do um, certain ways, and I, I'm not a conventional person, <laughs> as you all know. I have to do things my way and the only way you'll find out whether it works is by doing it your way. That's why we in get inspired by people. You know, we see something they're doing and then we go ahead and try it and put our own spin on it. Um, and that's the way to do it. Now, let me just see. There we go. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, if anybody knows how to get the fibre off, <laughs> in case it goes wrong, please do tell. I haven't got a clue. I don't even know what I'm going to glue it on with. No idea. Let me just pop that on there. Love that colour. That is gorgeous. And I'm not sure whether this... I'm not putting it on yet. Yeah. Can you see the... Yeah. <coughs> don't know. Don't know. <laughs> And um, I'm going to leave that to cool and settle and dry firm. And I'll be back for the next bit. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll speak to you soon.